What's up, Sleeping Amy family? We have the brand new set here today, Evolving Skies. <laughs> no, but for real, I've been seeing a lot of Evolving Skies show up at Walmarts as of late. Not just those Evolution Premium boxes, but a lot of ETBs. And I've been seeing a lot of packs show up at GameStop too. So I got an ETB and some packs as well. And we're gonna open up some Evolving Skies and we're gonna open up a Lost Origin Build and Battle. So and I got my Eevee here with pumpkin on its head and I got my pumpkin Pokeball all ready for spooky season and this is now started since we're in October. And we'll actually start by opening up some Evolving Skies. So really excited. The weather's actually starting to change here, but I do like fall weather. I think spring is probably my favorite season where it's not super warm and it's not super cool. But I do enjoy fall. I do enjoy Halloween and all the pumpkin things like our Eevee up here really, really, really cute. So I might need to move these packs that are on my left. <laughs> Teddy Ursa, Phoebus, Digging Gloves. Duraludon VMAX. I haven't pulled this one in a while. It is quite off center. <laughs> yeah, it is way off center on that left side. So starting off strong with that Duraludon VMAX. And I'm gonna move these packs real quick. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna open up these packs and then we're gonna open up uh, that Lost Origin build and battle and then I will go into that ETB. So my friend Logan, he actually opened up a uh, Evolving Skies ETB uh, today, which today's Saturday, if <laughs> you didn't know, for me at least. And he was able to pull the Rayquaza VMAX alternate art. And so, <laughs> I was quite shocked, and so was he. So he said, if I can pull this card, you should be able to pull that Umbreon. And I'm hoping he is right today. If not, I will take some really, really awesome pulls. There's a Stoutland right there. So hopefully we can pull an alter art. I would not mind if it is a duplicate of one of the evolutions. I'm always down to trade, but of course I am definitely hunting that Umbreon. Either Umbreon. At this point I'll take either Umbreon. Of course I would love the Umbreon, but we will see if I can get either Umbreon. My favorite one is the V. I just like, it looks like Lord Umbreon on that card. So well, let's see what we can do today. Gigalith, Crystal Cave. <laughs> so we did not pull Alcinor yet, but we pulled the Crystal Cave gold card. Oh my gosh. And I picked these packs out myself. Apparently I have good choices because <laughs> I picked out a gold card. <laughs> The Crystal Cave Gold card. That's actually my favorite gold, like, trainer card out of this set. Just the vibrant colors are really, really cool. So I love that artwork. Maybe it's a good sign. Maybe I picked out some good packs today. Oh, goodness. I hope so. <laughs> so, so far, so good. I do have that Crystal Cave card, though. Um, if anybody would want to trade for it, down for it. But it is a very beautiful gold card. Okay. Whew. I've been seeing a lot of people pull the all It's been seeing a lot of people pull some good cards out of here. Gar Garbador. Then we pull trash. <laughs> um, quite literal trash. But, and I've been a little bit jealous. <laughs> So, I think the Walmart I went to is actually a different Walmart from ones that I tip from the one I typically go to. So they had several ETBs there. They had seven uh, Evolving Skies ETBs there. So I was very uh, surprised to see that many. They had some Lost Origin there as well. Fusion Strike, Vivid Voltage, Darkness Blaze. They had a lot of good stuff. It's one I don't frequent, so I might actually go back. Galarian Zapdos. I'm still trying to hunt that one in Pokemon Go. I've seen all the birds, but I have caught none of them. They've all ran from me. They're infuriating. And this week, I'm trying to hunt that Yveltal. So, hoping 
I can get that shiny Uvalatel here soon. <laughs> okay, last uh, single blister, and then I will go into the Lost Origin Building Battle. See if we can get that Gengar promo. Okay, Carvana, Dwebble, Hitmonchan, Dino, into a slacking. I didn't have good, uh, too bad of a pick, since I was trying to say. I had a VMAX, a gold card out of there, and a V, as well as a couple hollows. So, not too bad for my picks. <laughs> All right, so let's see what promo we get. Machamp again. That is the third Machamp promo. I don't know if you guys saw it. Yep, third Machamp promo. So, I have two duplicate Machamp ones. If anybody needs the Machamp promo, let me know. I'm down to trade. <laughs> Love to trade for the Gengar. I know some people collect all the promos. I have three Machamp ones now and one Finian. The only one I kind of want is the Gengar. I might keep one of the Machamps, but the Gengar promo was, of course, is I think everybody's favorite out of all of them. Okay, so we got, oops. The V Star Marker, Panic Mask. I will be panicking if can't find anything good out of that ETV. C dot into a Raichu. Okay. And then this was the last build and battle at the GameStop I visited. And this is a GameStop that's in the town I'm in. I usually go to the town over because I like that GameStop better. Um but they actually had uh, build and battles, uh, build and battle stadiums. They had Lost Origin. That's where these Evolving Skies packs came from. So they were pretty stocked. The one thing I was disappointed on was they ran out of Eternatus codes. And I think, and from what they said, the two game stops in the town over were also out of Eternatus cards, <laughs> the shiny Eternatus codes. So I was surprised because he said there was about seven or 800 codes and they ran out in like a week, which is surprised. It's shocking, really, because usually people do not go for those codes. The last ones that they had like that were Zacian and Zamazenta, but I, I was very shocked. <laughs> so I am looking for one of those codes. If anybody has an extra at all, I'm hoping they're not selling those codes because that's that's a bit dirty in my opinion <laughs> don't sell those codes <laughs> don't be that person <laughs> really irritates me when people do that i just want one just for my game okay last pack out of here can we get a good pull can we get one of those Pikachus I'm lacking? Okay. Or rather, I think I'm lacking just the one Pikachu now. Maybe I can get that one. Okay, let's see. Apom, Roselia, Gumi, Roserade. I think I have Roserade. Let's see. And then Volo. I actually needed Volo. So that was a pretty good pack. The Roserade and a Volo Hollow. That's actually the only trainer card I haven't pulled just because it's a hollow. It's kind of funny how some of these cards are a bit difficult to pull. Some of the hollows are it's just so many cards in the, in the set. So that's a good pull. I'm very excited for that. <laughs> okay, so we got our ETV. And I'm sure you guys know the deal. I'll show you guys the sleeves. I think the Sleeves for the Pokemon Center exclusive ETVs are different, but I'll show you all the goodies because I'm sure you guys have seen them multiple times before. And this is a reprint of these. Hopefully you guys will get good stuff out of those code cards. All right. Eight packs left. Hopefully I picked a good ETV. Of course, you always want to grab all of them, but I don't want to be that person. I just wanted to grab one and went with the Vaporeon one this time. Rufflet, Zinnia's Resolve, into another slacking. All right. 
let's see. Usually the Sylveon packs are pretty good. And I had one Rayquaza, one Sylveon pack. So the Sylveon one had the Crystal Cave in it. <laughs> I don't know why Sylveon packs are pretty good to me, but just just ends up that way. All right, next one. Ursaring, Floet, Nuzleaf, Petalil. So nice seeing different artwork sometimes. Gossiflor, Espeon, VMAX. Look at that. Haven't pulled the Espeon in a while either. And we'll put it in one of these Giratina sleeves. But a nice evolution. And this one makes sense coming out of this box. Since Espeon is on the, on the box too. <laughs> okay. All right. Maybe it is a sign that Umbreon is in here too. Espeon and Umbreon are twins. Maybe. <laughs> I have a lot of hope. <laughs> I really want the card. <laughs> okay. Palpatone, Crustle, Lotad, Teddy Ursa. We got Nicket, Dwebble, Carvana, and Appleton. I do prefer Appleton over Flapple. I think it's just because it, it looks it looks very derpy. <laughs> and yeah, I've been enjoying the uh, the Eevee in the background. We're gonna keep Eevee up there for a little bit. Has a cute pumpkin on its head, and I'm very appreciative of uh, Pokemon Goddess for getting that for me. She also included a bunch of goodies too that I'm sure you guys saw. But I'm very appreciative that she was able to get that. Crystal Cave, Gyarados Full Art. Oh, it's just a tease. <laughs> this is actually centered pretty well, too. Let's see. Gyarados V. It's also kind of a tease because I wish they had a Gyarados alternate art in Pokemon Go. It was so perfect how they could have done it. They could have used the original loading screen from the game. It would have been super perfect, but they chose to do Conkledor, which it doesn't look bad. I just think it would have been so much cooler to do the Gyarados, or you could have done both if you really wanted. Um, I just thought it was a bit of a missed opportunity. Oh well. <laughs> uh, very cool artwork for Gyarados there. Could have given a Gyarados a different position too. Because I feel like Gyarados is usually in three different, has like the same stance in the cards. And uh, could have, you know, did a little bit of uh, differentiation on that stance. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Skipping cards there. But I think that's okay. We got Dwebble. Ruffle it into a shift tree. All right, we're down to two packs. We'll open the Duraludon pack artwork, and then we got an Ubreon pack artwork. So, I don't know. <laughs> I'm hoping. I'm hoping so much. But I can't be too upset. I don't know if you guys count VMAXs as full art, so we did get that full art, Gyarados V, and we did get an Espeon. It's like throwing in those evolutions into these boxes. I feel like it's just teasing me. Fletchling, Tentacool, Salamence, and we got a Suicune V. Will there be another pull? We got a VMAX, a Full Art, and a V. I don't know. But I'm not giving up. I am not giving up. I will go out and find some more ETBs, find some more packs, and... I will try again until I guess can't find any more evolving skies. <laughs> Fortunately, the reprints uh, are abundant right now, so I will be for sure looking for some evolving skies. I'm determined to find it. <sighs> okay, last pack. Lotad, Teddy Ursa. And if you guys have enjoyed today's video, leave a like. And... Comment down below what has been your favorite pull. 
I'm hoping it's behind there, but I don't think it is. <laughs> no, but it's just an Ambrose. <laughs> no, we did not have the luck today to get that Umbreon, but we did have some amazing luck. We had that Garbodor V, the Crystal Cave gold card that I cannot believe I picked out from one of the packs. Out of the Lost Origin build and battle, we got that Roserade. We got the Espeon V Max, the Gyarados V, and the Suicune V. So it's not too bad on pulls. I'm just gonna keep searching for that Umbreon, and I'm definitely not giving up. So we will keep finding all the other ones. <laughs> there are six evolutions alternate arts I'm looking for. Five of them are in Evolving Skies, as well as a couple other alternate arts I'm looking for in Evolving Skies too. So we will keep hunting, we will keep looking. So stay tuned, keep a lookout for more hunts for the Moonbrion, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.